Hey man, I've got this wart on my finger. Any idea how I could remove it? Yeah, put some Beetlejuice on it. <laughs> what? Beetlejuice, man. Come on. Like the movie with Michael Keaton? <laughs> no, like real Beetlejuice. Aw, <laughs> uh, forget it. Keep your warts, wart boy. Oh? Uh -huh. They are considered unattractive by most standards of physical beauty. Warts indicate the presence of disease. There are many different kinds of warts. Plantar warts, flat warts, genital warts. They are caused by a viral infection and can be spread by person-to-person -person contact. So what exactly is a wart? Well, a wart is a growth on the outer layer of the skin. If left untreated, they usually go away on their own, but an untreated wart can stick around for sometimes years. There are over-the-counter treatments like freeze kits and salicylic acid preparations. Whenever any of my children came home with warts on their hands, I would send them into the woods at midnight to find a tree stump with standing water. Then you dunk your hands into the water and say, Spunk water, spunk water, swallow these warts. Then you immediately walk backwards. Eyes closed, 11 steps, then spin in a circle three times and walk home without speaking a word to anyone. That's how you rid yourself of warts. Okay, so it's not always a great idea to follow grandma's medical advice. But check out this other idea. Blister beetles range in size from about one to two and a half centimeters in length. Many species of blister beetle can be found here in the U.S. They have a mixed reputation among humans. On the one hand, they are considered a pest, known for destroying crops and poisoning livestock. The blister beetle produces a chemical called cantharidin. Humans can become exposed to the chemical by crushing the beetle, releasing the inflammatory properties which act as a skin irritant, causing blisters to form. Horse owners are especially concerned with blister beetles. The beetles are known to infest alfalfa feed, and once ingested by the horses, the exposure to the toxic chemical can cause death. Don't worry, your pharmacist won't be crushing any live creatures to make your beetle juice. Modern wart removal with cantharidin involves dissolving a weight amount of active powder in a solution. The treating medical professional then paints the wart with the solution, causing the skin to blister and the wart to lift up off of the skin. This process is generally painless. When the blister dries, the wart comes off with the blistered skin, typically without scarring. Well, thanks for joining us. I'm Dr. Z, and for more information on pharmacy or drug-related topics, please be sure to visit us at medicationcounseling.com.